Hello everyone, in this particular session we will be discussing about the basic of React.js components. So mainly you can say there are two types of components in React.js. So these two components are class components and functional components. In this tutorial we will be concentrated on the class components which is uh, very widely used in React. So let's get start started. So class components are uh, in case of React you can say the React class components are the bread and butter for the most modern web applications in applications that are built in React.js. So these components are simple classes made up of multiple functions that add functionality to the applications. All, all class based components are side classes for the component class of the React.js class and React.js component class is the base class for, for all the classes that are created in React application. So components are independent and reusable bits of code and they serve uh, serve the same purpose as javascript functions but work in isolation and return HTML via render function. So let's create some uh, class component in uh, react application. So when creating a react component we, we need to follow some kind of rules. So for the first rule is like for all the components that we are creating in, in case of a react application the first letter should be in capital capital so in case of any correction and all like when creating creating a react component the component's name must start with a upper uppercase letter the component has to include the extent extends react.component statement to inherit the base class which is react component class and this statement creates an inheritance to the react component and gives you your component access to the react components function so basically if you want to use the react component functions then you need to use that inherit that react that component class the component also requires render method so this method returns html so basically whenever you are trying to create something uh, some forms or something in html so you need to put all these things inside your render function and render function will return those html which will be your output so let's discuss one example to demonstrate the class creation class based component creation in react.js app so for this purpose first of all we we have to create a react application as i have already discussed in the previous session like how we can create the first application in react so if if you if you follow those steps then you can create a react application with with some very basic um, steps so after creation of the react application first of all we need to go to the app.js file so in that file uh, you first need to import the react react from react library and after importing you need to create the class component so for creating the class component suppose in this example you can say we have created an app class which extends the react component base class and basically it's rendering the uh, first application header so which is returning by the render functions and finally we export the default app so once you execute this particular app it will give the output as first application so this is the a very simple uh, react application which can be used for understanding purpose next let's take another example so in this particular example we'll be discussing like how we can create a particular component from our base class react.component and use that component in further classes so for that purpose let's check this example so in this particular example we have imported first react from a react library and after importing we have created a sample class which is uh, inherited from react.component so after inheriting here we have returning like in the render function we have returned the h1 tag uh, that's our name of our channel so once we have created this component we can use this component anywhere in the main class or in the app app class so for that purpose and uh, next we have created the class app extends the react component so here we render the sample function i mean the sample component which we have already created in the above statements so here we are returning the sample component and export the default app so the output of this program will be let's learn with tb so which is the uh, html tag header tag returned by the sample sample component so in this way we can use the components uh, inside the app, our app class so this is a very uh, nice example which, which uh, by using which we can understand how we can create different types of components uh, from our by inheriting our base class reactor components and use those components in our app class so which makes it very easy to understand and reusable of the code to use uh, and to 
get some proper idea about the code how flow how the flow is working and all so this is uh, all about this um, class components that we are using in react react js for creating different types of application and all so in the next tutorial we'll be seeing like we'll be checking like uh, how to use the functional components and uh, how we can define different types of uh, classes uh, sorry different types of functions in there and how we can use the same function in different places or something like that so we'll be uh, checking all those things in the next tutorial so stay tuned thank you